Hello everyone, this is Leanne Allegretto at the National Weather Service in Missoula, bringing you your planning briefing for today and the days ahead and all the weather impacts from high pressure that we're going to expect in the coming days. So I mentioned high pressure because it just doesn't want to seem to leave our area and it's going to actually strengthen over the Northern Rockies this week and uh, produce some critical fire weather periods pretty much midweek this week. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday particularly, and I have that highlighted here. Smoke from wildfires will be ever-present, and thus it will have an influence on high temperatures, but mostly in the lower elevations where the smoke tends to settle. And our next chance for rain? Uh, it's not looking good. Not for another one to one and a half weeks. I want to begin first with our weather threat matrix to show you exactly what we're highlighting and how Wednesday and Thursday of this coming week are critical fire weather periods. And there is already early talk that both Wednesday and Thursday could have uh, be, could be bumped up to extreme, but we're gonna have to analyze that just a little further. But as you can see, every single day this week is hot and dry, and then some wind, especially Wednesday and Thursday, extremely dry with a lot of wind and just hot, continued hot near record warmth, especially for this time in September. So I want to touch a little bit on the smoke. This is the current satellite loop, well not loop, static image, as of September 4th, 11 a.m. at the time of this briefing. You can see there's quite a bit of smoke, especially east of the divide, but there is a lot of valleys filling up with smoke, and we've seen the past couple of days the effects that that has had on temperatures. Temperatures have been running about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than forecast due to the amount of smoke, and we just don't see that going anywhere. In fact, with the high pressure expected to strengthen and just bulge right over the entire western United States, um, it'll provide stable, stagnant air and plenty of air quality issues and trapping of continued wildfire smoke. This is our high temperature forecast for Wednesday, and the similar can be expected for Thursday, even though I don't have a graphic here for it. But we're talking near record or even exceeding record high temperatures for Wednesday across western Montana and northern north central Idaho. Numbers that we just don't see this time of year, and it's definitely going to have an effect on the humidity as well. Our minimum humidities on Wednesday are in the teens at best, and then the max humidity on Wednesday, very poor humidity recovery is expected. And again, I don't have graphics for Thursday because our graphic uh, generator doesn't go out to Thursday, but you can expect very similar stuff for Thursday, both minimum humidities and maximum humidities. So what are the winds going to do? Well, here's an animation showing what winds at 5,000 feet in elevation will do, uh, at least on Wednesday. And we expect the winds to be predominantly out of the southwest, with sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour and gusts up to 40 to 50 miles an hour with emphasis over the Idaho Panhandle into northwest Montana and into the Glacier Park region. Now, if you go higher, up to 10,000 feet in our highest ridges or ridge tops, you start to see a lot more bright reds and oranges. And on average, winds out of the southwest at this point at 10,000 feet in elevation will be in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range with gusts up to 50 to 60 or even higher if you get into like the Glacier Park and the Rocky Mountain front. So very strong winds on Wednesday. We expect winds to linger into Thursday and again creating a very critical fire weather period both of those days. And I, I mentioned, hey, is this ever going to change? Are we ever going to get out of this? Well, the pattern kind of hints at it changing. <laughs> If this is what you want to call it, these are uh, several clusters showing progression of the trough off of the Pacific coast. You can see a few models don't buy it, a few do. We'll have to wait and see. This is the 8 to 14 day outlook. It does hint at that moisture and cooler temperatures coming in off the Pacific, but again, take it with a grain of salt at this point. Thank you for joining. Our next scheduled briefing will be Thursday, September 8th. We hope you'll join us.